Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see in our bottom right hand corner, we have a new Breath of the Wild update, version 1.3.4 or V160. You do not want to download and install this update for use with CMU emulator. I'm going to show you exactly why right now. So as you can see, we're now loaded into game and our performance is very, very good. However, this new update V60 or 1.3.4 is absolutely not compatible with a lot of resolution graphics packs and it is definitely not compatible with FPS++, meaning that if your FPS goes either above or below 30 FPS, your game will either speed up, as you are seeing for me right now, or if you go below 30 FPS, which I do not do on my current system, it will slow down. This is something that we as Breath of the Wild players definitely do not want. All you need to do if you have installed this V160 update is downgrade to V144 update and use it in conjunction with DLC V64, both of which are now readily available through all updating methods including USB Helper, Mapleseed V1 and Mapleseed V2. If you are new to CMU or are not 100% sure how exactly to downgrade to the older V144 update, I will have my update and DLC adding guide linked down in the description. In this guide, it shows you how to download and extract your DLC and update data with Wii U USB helper and install it onto your game using the new feature brought in in CMU 1.11.0. So why exactly did Nintendo release this V160 or 1.3.4 update so close to 1.3.3? The exact reason for this is because in 1.3.3, a new bug was introduced. This new bug was if you lost or your Hillian shield became broken somehow, you would no longer be able to have it replaced by the special vendor in Tarry Town. If you are playing this game on CMU and you somehow lose or break your Hillian shield, I will also have a video down in the description which will show you how you can replace one of your old or terrible shields. You can literally use any shield from your inventory, no matter of its quality, and replace it using this Breath of the Wild editor. This video, in fact, shows you how you can add the new Divine Helms for each of the Divine Beasts to your game. These Divine Beast Helms are previously only Amiibo exclusive items and some of them are not available to us inside CMU due to Amiibos not being fully compatible just yet. This use of Breath of the Wild editor will allow us to play on update 1.3.3 but without the constraints of if we lose the Hillian Shield it will be gone forever. Hopefully this video will have served its purpose and none of you guys will accidentally update to 1.3.4 or V60 and stay on the 1.4.4, 1.3.3 game update. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I really do appreciate every single one of you guys that watches. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.